Alleluia. Glory be to the name of the Lord for another beautiful day. We bless the name of the Lord for the 21st day of the month of September year 2022. Beloved, I want to welcome you to this prayer arena. And I want you to know that God answered by fire. I want to thank God for his mercy and his love over our lives. I want to appreciate the love for what God has done. And if you are joining us for the first time, this is High Voltage Prayer Program. And this program is a program that the Lord has used to transform a lot of people, to revive and ignite our prayer altar, and to put us on our toes in prayers. I want to appreciate the Almighty God for his power. And I want to thank the Lord for his mighty hand upon our lives. When we pray, we see results, and you will see results in Jesus' mighty name. I decree into your life that God Almighty will visit you. The handwriting of the enemy shall be wiped away in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Colossians chapter 2, verse 14 to 15 say, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances. That was against us. Every handwriting of ordinance that is against your destiny shall be blotted out by the blood of Jesus Christ. Bible says, which was contrary to us, and he took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross, and having spoiled principalities and power, he made a show of them, triumphing over them in it. So you can see the power of God. You can see the power of the cross, the power of the blood of Jesus. The Bible says, surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Numbers chapter 23, verse 23. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither there is any divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, what God has wrought. It shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, what God has wrought. Look at Colossians chapter 1, verse 13 to 15. He said, Who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of our sin. See, redemption through the blood of Jesus, forgiveness of our sin. Who is in the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. The firstborn of every creature. I pray right now that every ordinance of the wicked against your life is hereby canceled in the blood of Jesus Christ. And every blood crying against you from your foundation is silenced today by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and say this prayer. Say, blood of Jesus. Shout, shout it seven times. Blood of Jesus. 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 Arise in your power and fight for me in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, arise in your power and fight for me in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, arise in your power and fight for me in Jesus' name we pray. Say every organized strategy of the host of darkness against me scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Every organized strategy of the host of darkness against me scatter by fire in the name of jesus every organized strategy of the oaks of darkness against me scatter by fire in the name of jesus every organized strategy of the host of darkness against me scatter by fire in the name of jesus every organized strategy of the host of darkness against me scatter by fire in jesus name we pray say every demonic trap set against my life Shatter to pieces in the name of Jesus. Every demonic trap set against my life be shattered to pieces 
in the name of Jesus. Every demonic trap set against my life be shattered to pieces in Jesus' name. Pray. Say this one with aggression. Say all unfriendly friends working against me. Receive open disgrace in the name of Jesus. All unfriendly friends working against me. Receive open disgrace in the name of Jesus. All unfriendly friends working against me. Receive open disgrace in the name of Jesus. All unfriendly friends working against me. Receive open disgrace in the name of Jesus. All unfriendly friends working against me. Receive open disgrace in the name of Jesus. All unfriendly friends working against me. Receive open disgrace in Jesus' name. We we'll pray. Thank you, Father. Wonderful. Now say this one very well. Say, blood of Jesus. Scatter the stronghold of darkness militating against my life in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Scatter the stronghold of darkness militating against my life in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Scatter the stronghold of darkness militating against my life in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Scatter the stronghold of darkness militating against my life. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says it disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. It disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Every device of the wicked, strategy of the wicked, formula of the wicked against you and your family, it shall scatter today in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray this prayer with authority. Say, demonic network against my life, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Demonic network against my life, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Demonic network against my life, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Demonic network against my life, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Demonic network against my life, scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Demonic network against my life, scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, demonic network against my life, scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, demonic network against my life, scatter by fire. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say, I shall be the head and not the tail. In the name of Jesus, I shall be the head and not the tail. In the name of Jesus, I shall be the head and not the tail. In the name of Jesus, I shall be the head and not the tail. In the name of Jesus, I shall be the head and not the tail. In the name of Jesus, I shall be the head and not the tail. In the name of Jesus, I shall be the head and not the tail. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say every negative pronouncement against my greatness, scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, every negative pronouncement against my greatness, scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus, every negative pronouncement against my greatness, scatter by fire. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say, I receive the anointing for supernatural breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I receive the anointing for supernatural breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I receive the anointing for supernatural breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I receive the anointing for supernatural breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I receive the anointing for supernatural breakthrough in Jesus' name. We pray. Thank you, Father. Uh huh. Say, every Akan in my camp. Be disgraced by fire in the name of Jesus. Every Achan in my camp be disgraced by fire in the name of Jesus. Every Achan in my camp be disgraced by fire in the name of Jesus. Every Achan in my camp be disgraced by fire in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Say, O oh hand of God, pull me out from the valley of darkness in the name of Jesus. O oh hand of God. Pull me out from the valley of darkness in the name of Jesus. O hand of God, pull me out from the valley of darkness in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Uh, beloved, um, we started a few uh, days ago on breaking free from household wickedness. Breaking free from household wickedness. The Bible says, in the book of Micah, chapter 7, verse 6, I read New Living Translation. For the son despise, despises his father, the daughter defies her mother. 
The daughter-in-law defies her mother-in-law. Your enemy are right in your own household. That's what the Bible says. The Bible says your enemy are right in your own household. For a son dishonored his father. A daughter rises up against her mother. A daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemy are members of his own household. That is a very deep, deep verses in the Bible. One of the deep, strong uh, uh, you know, scripture in the Bible. You can see there, the Bible says, A man's enemy are members of his own household. That is very deep. Very, very deep. So the Bible is saying that the first enemy of any one of us they are members of our household, meaning that there is no outside enemy that can get that can get us down without consulting with the inside enemy. The enemy in your household are those people that are together with you. You know, when they say household, we mean people that are there together in under the same roof. Is an household. Do you know even that uh, something like office can be a household? Those who are under the same roof with you, your family, members of your family, even their house up there, it has been part of that household. The gate man has been part of that household. The Bible says the man's enemy are members of his household. Then, I like I have told you that the gate man now is part of the household. The security man is part of the household. The house help is part of the household. All the people there under that roof, they are called household. And the Bible says that the enemy, the first enemy, is the enemy in the household. So what are the strategies that we can use to operate so that this enemy in the household will not be able to get us down? We have seen Cain and Abel, and you see the the after the sac, after the offering, Cain has to deceive Abel to follow him to the farm, and Abel did not return back. So we can see a lot of uh, things that we can do there to, to how we can operate and get ourselves free from their hands. We can also see the life of uh, Joseph in Genesis chapter seven. We saw that Joseph revealed his destiny dream to his brother and they hated him seriously. The Bible said they hated him because of that dream, you know. Uh, and that's also, we have seen a strategy there that we can use to operate. The Bible also said that the men of the household of Samson were the one that delivered him uh, into the hand of the enemy. So what are these strategies? I gave you... Uh, uh, 1 to 10 yesterday and let me see how I can run it up today so that we can begin to operate this strategy to uh, to move and to get this done. I pray that God will help us in Jesus name. For the benefit of those who have not started with us, I run you through the strategies again. Number one, you must be a friend of God by confessing your sin and accepting him as your Lord and Savior. Number two, you must know who you are. And number three, you must guard your mouth. You must know what to say and what not to say. Number four, you must be vigilant and watchful. Number five, you must be addicted to prayer. Number six, you must be addicted to the word of God. Number seven, you must treat everyone with your eyes open. Treat them with consciousness that they are human beings and they can be used, they can deceive you, uh, they can let you down. You know, number eight, Understand that every woman being is selfish, except those that had the new encounter with Jesus. Number nine, go and do spiritual mapping of your family line to know the kind of spirit that operates there. Whether the spirit that they pull themselves down like a, like a crap. You have to look at the spirit that operates so that you can guide yourself. Number ten, understand that the devil can use anyone against you. And number eleven, I'm starting from eleven now, study people the way you study mathematics, study people in your family, study people in the, under your roof, 
Study them very well, the way you study mathematics. Number 12, know when to take cover and when to take over. Know when to take cover and when to take over. What do I mean by that? You must know when you are to do something. There are people who just, they just display unnecessarily. They display money unnecessarily. God has blessed you and you are doing a demonic display. It's going to, it's going to cut your life short if you don't know how to handle it. Some will just come, you see them coming to the village to come and spray money unnecessarily, to come and display money unnecessarily, to come and show off. Ah, you may not be able to find yourself again after that. So you must know when to take cover and when to take cover. You must know what to do at a time. Number 13, always have a plan B of your operation. In case you are giving somebody some amount of money to do something for you, to bid for you, to do for you, you must always have a plan B. You must always know that this fellow can deceive you. This fellow can be used by the devil. Always have a strategy of how you can undo and monitor things so that you will not come down completely. You must always have a plan B that if this thing happens like this, should I, do I have another thing that can hold me on? If you don't have another thing, you have to be very careful. It is very, very dangerous to commit everything about you into the hands of somebody in the family. It can be a destruction. Many people have done that. They couldn't get out of it tomorrow. And that's a very dangerous thing. And number 14, always ask for God's guidance on any matter in the family. Always ask for God's guidance. If Abel had heard of God's guidance, he wouldn't have followed Cain to farm. Always ask God, can I do this? God, should I do this? God, should I do this? Always ask for God's guidance. When you ask for God's guidance, you will always get things very, very well. And the last thing is that listen very well before you speak. Listen very well before you speak. Listen very well before you speak. And the last point is respect everybody. Respect everybody. Because there is power in respect. Uh, if you respect everybody, you will get this. That always know that you respect people. It is good to respect even, even those who are even younger than you. You know, respect everybody. Put everybody where they belong. Honor your senior and give them their respect. Respect everybody in the family, and it will always make you to receive information that they will have, you know, hidden from you or they will have kept secret from you. May the Lord bless you as you enjoy this, uh, uh, these uh, strategies and operate in it and put it in motion in the name of Jesus Christ. Close your eyes and say, Lord, I come before you now. Guide me and help me. Lead me by your power. Uphold my hand. Strengthen me, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Bring out your water or your oil. Lord, I pray the water and the oil shall be sanctified by your power. They shall become the blood of Jesus. The fire of Holy Ghost will enter into them in Jesus' name. Anoint yourself, drink the oil or water, and you will see what the Lord will do. You can anoint your chest, anoint your stomach, anoint any part of your body, but pray this prayer now. Uh, pray this prayer. If you have not given your life to Jesus, make sure you confess your sin and remove that one quickly before we pray this seven prayer point. This prayer, they are very, very important. We are going to pray it very sharp. Number one, say any power that has taken my case to the coven to punish me, receive open disgrace in the name of Jesus. Any power that has taken my case to the coven to punish me, receive open disgrace in the name of Jesus. Any power that has taken my case to the coven to punish me, receive open disgrace in Jesus' name. Pray number two, every satanic conspiracy to naked me, scatter in the name of Jesus. Every satanic conspiracy to naked me, scatter in the name of Jesus. Every satanic conspiracy to naked me, scatter in Jesus' name. Pray. Say, if what I am going through now is as a result of household wickedness, Holy Ghost, deliver me in the name of Jesus. If what I am going through now is as a result of household wickedness, Holy Ghost, deliver me in the name of Jesus. If what I'm going through now is as a result of household wickedness, Holy Ghost, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me. In Jesus' name we pray. Say wickedness in my family. Lose your hold over my life in the name of Jesus. Wickedness in my family. Lose your hold over my life. Lose your hold over my life. Lose your hold over my life 
In Jesus' name we pray. Uh -huh. Say any witchcraft oppression in my family. Ah, in the name of Jesus. Any witchcraft oppression in my family. Ah, in the name of Jesus. Any witchcraft oppression in my family. Ah, in Jesus' name we pray. Say any coven of witchcraft in my family. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Any coven of witchcraft in my family. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Any coven of witchcraft in my family. Scatter in Jesus' name we pray. Say any member of my family that has taken my case to the Abalis hmm, to tie me down. Fire of God. Destroy them. In the name of Jesus, any member of my family that has taken my case to the abyss to tie me down, fire of God, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them. This end in the name of Jesus, any member of my family that has taken my case to the abyss to tie me down, fire of God, destroy them, destroy them, destroy them. In Jesus' name, we pray. Whatever they have buried against me, Holy Ghost, exhume it. In the name of Jesus, whatever they have buried against me, Holy Ghost, exhume it now, exhume it now, exhume it now. In Jesus' name, pray. Say any power that has taken my photograph to the shrine to destroy me. Uh -huh. Any power that has taken my photograph to the shrine to destroy me, destroy yourself. In the name of Jesus, any power that has taken my photograph to the shrine to destroy me, destroy yourself. In the name of Jesus, any power that has taken my photograph to the shrine to destroy me, destroy yourself. In Jesus' name we pray. I pray that the Almighty God will fight for us. The Lord will fight for you as you are listening to media. The Lord will defend his interest in your life. The Holy Ghost will deliver you. You will experience miracle job. Miracle testimony. You are going to experience miracle children miracle breakthrough you are going to experience breakthrough that will be a miracle children that will be a miracle husband wife that will be a miracle you are going to experience miracle in all the aspects of your life get ready for miracle job get ready for miracle breakthrough get ready for miracle business get ready for miracle children in the name of Jesus Christ. Have they written you off? The Almighty God is working on your life now. Have they said you cannot make it? I am telling you, you will make it. There shall be a way for you. Where there is no way, God will open way. In Jesus' name we pray. I prophesy to the life of that man. This week you are going for interview. The Lord has gone ahead of you. And there will be testimony in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. All those who are pregnant now, I'm led to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, your delivery will follow the pattern of Hebrew women. Your delivery will be safe, sound, and secure. Mark my word, you will have testimony. In Jesus' name we pray. Beloved, God has done mighty work here. You have testimony to share. Pass it across to us. Yes, pass it across to us. I am praying for that fellow in the hospital. In the name of Jesus, the yoke of infirmity is broken upon your life. All negative medical reports is cancelled now. And I declare you whole. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. Pray. Send your testimony to our WhatsApp number 0802 336 9298. 0802 336 9298. I fellowship at Mountain of Fire Miracle Ministry. And our international headquarters is at number 13 on Simple Street, Unike, Saboya, Balagos. Uh, it is just behind the second gate of University of Lagos and 10 minutes drive from Queen's College. And also we have our branches, our regions all over. And our churches are all over the state, outside the state. You can get one that is closer to you and they will help you. I remain your friend. Pastor Emmanuel Akiola, God bless you.